Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 51. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 5.xlsm, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet B3. This is the third video we're doing uh, talking about binomial distribution. In this video, we just want to see how the shape of the distribution changes as we change our number of trials and our probability of success. Hey, this is our example from last video. Six flights in one day, probability that any particular one is late is 0.1. Now let's first look at P. You can see when the P is small, right? Tall bar, tall bar, that goes down, it goes down, and then whoosh, over this direction. But let's increase this so the probability goes up to 0.2. Hmm. 0 0.3. 0.4. Notice what's happened. It is approaching a bell shape. And sure enough, when you get to 0.5, that's like a flip of a coin, right? Perfectly bell shaped. Now let's change this in chapter in uh, earlier in this chapter five and then back in chapter four, we did an experiment where we flipped a coin three times, heads or tails. And guess what? That's a binomial experiment. So there it is. If we added some data labels to this, we'd see that is the distribution we plotted where we actually went and listed all the sample points, created the the, um, the count, the relative frequency in this chart, our first probability distribution, and got this. But it's a binomial experiment, so pretty much all we'd have to do is do N3, probability of success for whether it's heads or tails is 0.5, and then use your binome.dist. Now I'm going to get rid of this. So 0.5, what if you go 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8? Oh, now the bars over here are taller. The probabilities are taller, so 0.9, right? So 0.1 and our 6. Now let's look at our other example. We had. Um, in our last video, 42 students in the class, and probability that you withdraw from a county 202 was 0.16. So look at that, n pretty big. You could see all the pro all the possibilities out here are you know zero basically. 0.001. But let's see what happens to this as we decrease this. Let's go. Uh, let's increase first. Let me put 75. A class of 75. A class of 100. That's looking pretty bell-shaped. So from bell-shaped, let's decrease it. 50, 42, still looking kind of bell. 32, 20, 22, 10, 5. Oh, look. So as n increases, the uh, shape of the distribution tends to go towards bell shape. So our conclusions for shape and the relationship between number of trials and probability of success. As n increases, distribution approaches the bell shape or normal shape. As p approaches 0.5, distribution approaches bell. At 0.5, distribution is a bell shape. All right, in our last video um, about binomial disk, I'm going to show you some great charting tricks. All right, see you next video.